Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Mandir Kaur. I hope you all are fine and doing well and staying safe. Always wear a mask and protect yourself and the surroundings. I welcome all my audience to the today's podcast. We always try to bring some unique stories from across India and the world to empower and inspire our growing community. This week, we have invited renowned astrologer Ranju Mehrotra for an interview with us to know more about her inspiring journey, her background, and her advice to interested individuals. So, hello, Ranju Mehrotra. Welcome to our podcast. How are you today? Hello, and thank you. I'm doing good. Hope you all are safe and fine. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we are aware of your contribution to the ecosystem. Please walk us through your background and journey as an astrologer. Okay, so this is Ranju. I'm astro numerologist, astrologer, numerologist, and a Vastu consultant. At the same time, I'm also a life coach and a counselor. Basically, this line, this career started almost eight years back, I mean, seven and a half to eight years back. Initially, I have been a teacher. I was a teacher teaching in a renowned schools, started from play classes leading to class four and five. And now I'm here in front of you as an astrologer, a numerologist and Vastu consultant. That's great. You are an inspiration for many young women out there. So tell me something more that what fascinated you about astrology? See, actually, you know, looking years back when I was uh, quite young and uh, my school days and my college days, I was always actually interested in this field. Like, you know, youngsters, they keep following Linda Goodman and everything. But a little more than that, I was into the study, reading little more details my family always believed into the astrologers and asking them. And certain life instances kept moving that way is that, you know, my inclination towards this science kept going deeper. Moreover, then it was not as a career I ever thought I would actually take, to be very frank. I never thought I'll be an astrologer one day. But yeah, I kept studying. I did my certifications just for fun and just to, you know, more, more to see actually, more to see that how can anybody tell you that how is your life going to be ahead? So I wanted to read that. And I studied that later on after my resignation in the school world. Then I took this as a career. That sounds really interesting. So how do you manage yourself and how do you keep, uh, fa uh, how do you face all of the challenges you, uh, in your life? See, challenges are part of everybody's life and so they are to me also. You know, at times people may think that to being an astrologer, you don't have to face anything because you can use your remedies. But see, remedies are not the stuff that can change your life. They can definitely, I use my remedies myself, but they can just uh, alter certain things for you. Challenges, I, with God's grace, uh, I don't uh, face them much now. I have faced my part and I think that my hard part of my life is over. So now I'm enjoying my career. I'm enjoying my children. I'm enjoying my work thoroughly. And yes, but I'm not enjoying this lockdown, definitely. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it yeah. will be finishing soon. Okay. So... Please share with us that how do you inspire your customers? See, first of all, uh, I'll actually say that I don't have customers. I have clients. Oh, yes. I get customers, but I make them clients. So they stick on to me. They are not like they just come today, ask me and they vanish off. No, that's not the relationship with me. They come here, they ask me today and they are here with me for years. And what attracts them is, uh, is basically maybe the mouth publicity which they come from. And uh, definitely, I am a good listener. I must share that. I'm a very good listener. 
So I listen to their issues. I really put myself in their shoes and then see that, you know, how a layman can understand. And that is the way I make them understand that where their issues are lying and how can we make a solution to that. And, you know, because everybody that is coming to us, not only me, to any astrologer, to any numerologist, a person is in a problem. They're not happy or they have certain issues. That is why they're reaching on to us. You go to a doctor only when you're not well. There are very few people who, you know, just for fun's sake are coming and uh, asking something about their life. So a person who's anyways disturbed, he wants, people want you to listen. They want that somebody should be there to first listen to their problems and give a solution at the same time, which they can do. Not like uh, do, uh, you know, dead hazard job kar lijiye or uh, usme wo koi nahi kar sakta. I cannot do it, you cannot do it. Let's be very frank with it. Yeah. Only a Pandit ji sitting in a mm-hmm. temple can do it. Because I have a family, you have a family, you have your own stuff. You cannot sit for that long. Yes. So there is no point giving a remedy, which mm-hmm. you know a person will never do it. Or if they want to also do it, they won't be able to do it in a way it is to be done. And then there is no point when uh, when you cannot give a change to that problem or you cannot give a solution of that problem. And there is no point of giving that remedy. So these are basically the stuffs, you know, that a client has been asking me again and again. And yes, definitely, I am glad and I'm happy to share that uh, people, my clients, they have been sharing their experiences with me when stuffs have happened, what I told them and those things, those incidents happen at that particular time. So that makes them come back to me. Oh, okay. So how important is it to be aware of this? Like uh, what services do you provide to assist your clients? I see, I give personal guidance, which includes everything about a life of a human being, whether that's career, health, wealth, family, their relationships, and giving them remedies accordingly, if it depends on the planets. Then I do tell them the gemstones, although I do not provide with gemstones, but yes, I can give them what gemstones to be worn if necessary. Then I do life counseling. As I said, I'm a life coach also. So people coming with issues, they don't want astrology help. They just want that people should listen and guide them in the correct manner, according to their circumstances. I do that. I also teach numerology. I don't teach astrology. People have been asking me, but I only teach numerology. And uh, it's a certification course. I do provide with certificates. Then is Vastu Consultancy. I'm a Maha Vastu Consultant. So finding a solution out for your residence, for your commercial spaces, if certain Vastu remedies are to be done, I do with that right away, starting from scratch till your whole building is done. I do give all those directions and remedies related to Vastu. Then is matchmaking, definitely a very important part of astrology because uh, I think it's a very important thing. Everybody should do a matchmaking before getting married. I am not saying just because I'm an astrologer, but I have actually, it's my own life experience that, you know, um, having a good partner, having a matched partner is very important. It's a very important decision of your life. So these are my major stuff that I do. Well, that is really great to know all about this. So tell me what has worked so far for you, so well for you. Everything's worked well for me. (laughs) I'm really thankful to God that uh, he's granted me with a good life. See, definitely I also had to go through rough patches in my life initially or wherever, like a normal human being. But overall, I am contented. I'm happy with my life. I have beautiful two children and uh, a loving husband, a good family, supporting parents. What else I can demand for? I have a lovely growing career now. I have friends and people and uh, supporters like you all. 
so I'm doing good. I'm happy. I'm contented with my life. Definitely, I want to grow. I do not mean contentment here that I don't want to grow. But yes, I'm happy the way my growth is going. Well, I am really sure that whosoever is watching your podcast, like he or she, would definitely like to connect with you. So thank you a lot, Ranju Mehrotra, for being with us today and sharing all your experience and for all the information with us. And a very big thanks to everyone for turning our in our for our postcard. So thank you, everyone, and I wish everyone stays well. So thank you for being with us. Thank you so much.